Are you thinking about moving to Lawrenceville, Georgia? Maybe you're looking to buy a home in the $400,000 range. Well, if that's you, then this video is for you as we're exploring Lawrenceville, Georgia and homes priced in the $400,000 range and we're doing it right now. Let's do it. Hey, if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living, working, playing and breathing all things Atlanta and the Metro Atlanta area, like here in Lawrenceville, Georgia, then hit that subscription button, tap that notification bell so you can be the first to learn about all the things that are happening here in Atlanta and the Metro Atlanta area. My name is Jonathan McCoy and I'm getting calls, texts and emails from people just like you looking to make that move here to Atlanta, Georgia and the Lawrenceville area and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to make that move right now, a month from now or a year from now, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to talk with you about your needs to move in here to Atlanta, Georgia, and the Metro Atlanta area. My contact information is in the description below. I'm standing here right now in the middle of downtown Lawrenceville next to the historic courthouse. And I love downtown Lawrenceville. What a great spot to hang out in. And about a year ago, I did a video about the community or the suburb that is the most underrated and undervalued, and that was here in Lawrenceville. And then about a few months later, Realtor.com actually put Lawrenceville, Georgia as the number six city in all the US to buy in for its value. So Lawrenceville is really cool. They've done a lot of stuff here. As you can see, um, I'll just kind of pan around. There's a lot to do around here, a lot of boutique shops, a lot of uh, restaurants to go to, uh, you got um, a craze over there, which is really nice. Tavern, tavern food. They got um, a rooftop uh, bar and eating area. Really fun to hang out in on these gorgeous days in Georgia. You got Perry Street Chop House, which is nice. Uh, over my shoulder there, you can't actually see it to the building over there. Um, you got an Italian restaurant uh, that's really good. La Casuela Catina right there. You got Oyster Bay, Seafood, Liberty Books. Um, go over there. You got Universal Joint back there, which is a fun place to eat at. A lot of outside dining options here because everybody wants to enjoy the beautiful days that we have here in Georgia. Then another fun thing is over my shoulder, past the church over there, you've got the lawn in Lawrenceville. And the lawn is uh, open grass area where families can sit out and enjoy. They have uh, festivals and fairs here in Lawrenceville. They have a stage there where they'll have uh, concerts that are free so you can come out and enjoy. Um, most of those are happening in the summertime over here. Also off the lawn, you've got a couple beach volleyball courts, if that's your thing. You got some areas for playgrounds, throw a baseball around, throw a football around, uh, walk the dog, all those kind of things. Really fun here in the downtown Lawrenceville area. A lot of value here. School systems are pretty good here as well. And Lawrenceville is a, a big city um, for the suburbs. So you can actually have multiple uh, high schools that are served here. You got Central Gwinnett that falls in Lawrenceville. Some of Brookwood High School falls in Lawrenceville. Archer, some of Archer High School falls into Lawrenceville. So a lot of different school potential here. Another thing that's fun in the downtown Lawrenceville area is you have the Aurora Theater and the Lawrenceville Art Center, and that is behind me that way over there. Again, uh, you got uh, plays that are put on there. You got uh, musical acts that come in there. Uh, that is, you gotta pay there. Those aren't free concerts, but a uh, great place to watch. I know in October too, they do like some ghost tours uh, through the Aurora Theater and the Art Center there. So that's pretty fun if you, that's your kind of thing. Uh, so just a cool place to hang out at, enjoy. It is, it is packed here on Friday and Saturday night, just to give you a heads up. Lawrenceville, I wouldn't say it's a secret. I mean, this is the county seat for Gwinnett County, but it really was undervalued and they've really done a great job here over the past five years of really sprucing the place up, really making it attractive, a fun place to hang out at. Uh, so as I told you, we're gonna go look at some $400,000 homes. Uh, we're starting in the low 400s, right at $400,000, and we're gonna go all the way up to the high 400. So if your budget falls somewhere in the $400,000 range, you get an idea of what home, type of home you can look at, um, communities that are around here. So we're gonna look at that, and we might as well uh, go ahead and get this tour started of those communities. So let's jump on over to the first community. 
All right, so we're here at our first community in Lawrenceville in the 400,000 range, and the home that we're going to uh, look at is actually right at $400,000. It's got four bedrooms, two and a half baths, over 2,900 square feet. Now, one thing to note um, in this neighborhood, it is an HOA neighborhood, it's got swim and tennis, but some of the homes in here are a little bit hit or miss in terms of the upkeep of the home um, and the yards. So a particular one that we're looking at right now is this one right behind me. Um, it does need some love in it, definitely needs a little cleanup, um, definitely needs some paint. It's got really great space though. This home was like gorgeous when it was first constructed. Now it just needs a little bit of TLC with it, which is why you have it at that 400,000 range. Um, if you were to uh, go down the street here just a little bit, there's actually another home that is uh, under contract in the $425,000 range. And so um, that's the home that's just, just right down there, um, just over my shoulder. So definitely has potential in here. If you're getting in the 400,000 range in the low 400s here in the Lawrenceville area, and by the way, we're, we're south uh, east of Lawrenceville in this location, um, probably about three to four miles away from the downtown area. Um, there's not a ton just specifically around this neighborhood. You do have to drive a few miles to get to shopping and dining in the downtown area. So it's not a, a terrible location, but again, as you get closer to that downtown area, because you get closer to um, better amenities, you will pay a higher price. And again, this particular home here needs a little bit of love, but man, it's got some great space. So if you have a little bit of cash to put in uh, to a home, this might be the one for you. Again, concern in this neighborhood is just the houses are kind of hit or miss with the upkeep in the neighborhood. I do think that Lawrenceville, again, is one of the um, neighborhoods that has uh, great potential or the communities that have great potential. The suburbs, I think it's one of the most underpriced suburbs in all of Metro Atlanta. And so um, I think it's going to be on the upswing, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So this is community uh, number one in the first subdivision. Let's go on to our next. All right, we're here at our second community um, looking at homes at 400,000 range uh, in Lawrenceville. We're about 2.3 miles uh, south of Lawrenceville here in this community. The community is gorgeous, well kept up. This does have an HOA in it, so um, to make sure everybody keeps up with their homes. But we're talking about four-sided brick homes with ranches with a lot of bonus rooms over top of the garage. And the particular home we're looking at has over 2,500 square feet. They've updated the kitchen with quartz countertops, new appliances. Uh, they put a uh, luxury vinyl um, down for the flooring on it. And the, it's this home right behind me uh, here. Um, smaller yards. Uh, so if you're looking for a bigger backyard, um, this isn't the place, but uh, the small yard does is good space on it. Um, with that said, uh, you're really close to Sugarloaf Parkway here and along Sugarloaf Parkway, it can get you um, over if you take it down to the uh, Duluth area, get you to Sugarloaf Mills Mall, um, a lot of strip malls along the way, a lot of shopping and dining um, areas along Sugarloaf. And again, you're really close to downtown Lawrenceville here and that downtown area just is so fun with the, the green space that they have there. and. Um, the dining options there, the entertainment. So um, lots of options to choose from. We're in the Central Gwinnett uh, High School District here. And um, that's about it for this neighborhood. Like I said, really nice, really quiet. As I've been out here, I've seen a number of people walking their dogs. Um, it's so uh, we'll move on to uh, the next neighborhood. All right, we are at house number three here in Lawrenceville. And this one's at $449,900. It's got, um, over 2,300 square feet, and it's on an uh, unfinished basement. Um, the home's right behind me. Here, it's this one right here, stucco front, um, vinyl on the side from the back. Uh, does need a newer roof, but inside, uh, they put some luxury vinyl plank down. Um, and there are some things that are dated in the home, but for the most part, it's pretty clean. Um, one drawback of this one is you have that really steep driveway, but uh, nice neighborhood here. We are uh, southwest of Lawrenceville, um, so easy jump onto Ronald Reagan. Um, you can get over to uh, 
Snellville area. You can get to Lawrenceville pretty quickly here. Um, nice, quiet community here. A lot of, these are 90s builds here. So you'll see the brick front and you'll see some stucco homes and that's kind of what they are in here. Um, all of them are two story in uh, this community uh, right here, but nice, quiet for 449,900. So right under 450, you get a lot of home in this one the biggest thing on this one is can you handle that big driveway going up um, but uh, for the amount of square footage you get it's hard to find that uh, anywhere else in any other suburbs so um, nice one here and we'll move on to the next subdivision all right we were at our last community here in Lawrenceville and we're looking at the mid more higher 400,000 range and the reason why is we're at new construction here in Lawrenceville. So um, new construction communities are gonna cost a little more. We're talking about 2,300 square feet and up. Um, really nice layouts here. A lot of different options to choose from. Uh, they've got uh, quick move-ins. They can close in 30 days, some in 60 days. Some that are being built still. Um, plenty that are being built and plenty of lots to build on um, that you're talking about three to four months out. Uh, over my shoulder, uh, you see this is uh, the clubhouse for the pool it's got uh, tennis as well and then all the new construction that's going on behind me um, the spec home right over my shoulder there is a gorgeous layout um, and it's really cool it has a uh, master that has this awesome loft area attached to it so if you're looking for a couple's getaway or maybe a man cave a woman cave whatever you're looking for that's a nice house to to go into a lot of different options in here to choose from again i believe they're starting at around 460 going up to in the 500s um, when it comes to new construction you got to remember that if you're adding on upgrades sometimes with lot premiums it can take you a little bit higher also talked with the agent on duty and he talked about how in this community the preferred lender is getting you in at about uh, five and a half uh, percent interest rates on the loan so a good community to choose from um, but yeah you've got new construction options here in Lawrenceville so great options for you um, yeah to choose from here in the 400,000 range well I took you to $400,000 homes from the lows to the highs we went from resells to brand new construction you have a lot of options here in the Lawrenceville area and it's pretty affordable compared to what we're seeing a lot around this area. So um, if you're interested in homes in the $400,000 range, higher, lower, if you're looking to move to the Lawrenceville area or maybe somewhere else, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to talk with you more about your needs to help you make that smooth transition here to Atlanta, Georgia. If you like this video and you want to know more about Lawrenceville, I did another video you'll find over here that can give you more information about Lawrenceville, Georgia. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.